A small, run-down diner sits alone on the side of a desolate highway. The neon sign flickers, barely illuminating the empty parking lot. In the distance, the sound of a lone truck rumbles by. It's cold, desolate, like the world forgot this place exists. Distant rumbling sound. Inside the diner, it's night. Jenny, the only waitress on the night shift, leans against the counter, bored and flipping through an old magazine. The clock ticks loudly, 2.47 a.m. The diner is eerily empty. Monotone, bored, another dead night. Just me, the flickering lights, and the sound of that damn clock. I should have quit weeks ago, but the pay's good, and where else am I gonna go at three in the morning? The bell on the door rings as a customer walks in. He's tall, lanky, and dressed in an old coat. His face is shadowed by a wide-brimmed hat. He moves stiffly, almost unnaturally, as if he's unfamiliar with how his own body should work. Forced cheery. Welcome to Holly's Diner. What can I get for you? The customer stops at the counter but doesn't sit down. He stands, staring at the menu on the wall, not saying a word. Sir? His head slowly turns toward her, revealing his eyes, dead and cold, like he's staring right through her. Jenny feels a chill run down her spine, but keeps her smile up. Coffee? Something to eat? The customer nods slowly. All right. Coffee coming right up. Anything else? A long pause, finally in a gravelly voice. Burger. Raw. Raw. S1. You mean rare? Jenny raises an eyebrow. Uh, okay. One raw burger coming up. She turns toward the kitchen, shaking off the uncomfortable vibe. Hey, Dale. I need a... Uh, raw burger for the weirdo at the counter. Gruff. You heard him right. Raw means uncooked. Yeah, I know. Just do it. He gives me the creeps. Dale sighs, slaps a fresh patty on a plate, totally uncooked, and slides it across the counter. Jenny hesitates, staring at the slab of cold meat. Then she grabs it and walks back out. Suddenly, the door dings again. Jenny turns, relieved to see another customer enter. A woman, Mary, in a faded jacket, her eyes darting around nervously. Whispering, is... is he here yet? Who? Urgent. The man in the coat. The one who never leaves. Jenny glances back at the first customer, who's still chewing his raw meat, staring dead-eyed. You mean him? Mary gasps, backing away toward the door. You need to get out of here. Now, before he... Slam! Suddenly the lights flicker violently, and the diner is plunged into darkness for a second. The sound of heavy breathing fills the air. When the lights come back on, the man in the coat is standing right behind Jenny. She screams and stumbles back, knocking over a cup of coffee. The man's face is now inches from hers, and his eyes, his eyes are not human anymore. They're black, hollow, endless voids. Whispering, too late. Suddenly, the man lunges. Screaming, run! Jenny bolts for the kitchen, knocking into tables as she goes. Dale, hearing the commotion, peeks out, but Jenny slams the door shut behind her. What the hell's going on? There's... there's something wrong with him. The guy at the counter. He's not human. Dale opens his mouth to speak, but the lights flicker again. This time, the grill shuts off, plunging the room into an eerie silence. The air grows thick, cold. Suddenly the door slams open and the man in the coat is there, standing in the doorway, his mouth open unnaturally wide, revealing rows of sharp teeth. Shouting, what the hell? He charges, but the man grabs him, his arms elongating, twisting in impossible ways. With one swift motion, he lifts Dale off the ground and snap, Dale's neck breaks like a twig. His body crumples to the floor, lifeless screaming no the man turns toward jenny but before he can move mary bursts in holding a large kitchen knife desperate stay back the man snarls advancing toward them his eyes now fully black his body contorting as if bones are breaking and reforming beneath his skin jenny and mary back away cornered whispering what is he panicked i don't know i just know he's been hunting people he shows up in diners and they disappear 
We need to go. The man lunges again, but Mary slashes at him with the knife. It slices into his skin, but no blood flows. Just a thick, black, tar-like substance. Screaming, he's not human! They sprint out of the kitchen, back into the diner and through the front door. Jenny and Mary run, gasping for breath as the man's silhouette stands in the diner's doorway watching them leave. His hollow eyes seem to follow them as they disappear into the darkness of the highway. They run until they can't anymore, collapsing on the side of the road, breathless and shaking. Panting. What, what do we do now? Voice trembling. We keep running. 